Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli and in this video you will learn to automatically remove tags in bulk from the members you have in circle.so community using Google Sheets. So now you might ask why would anyone want to remove the tags from the members? So guys, let's suppose that uh, the members you have in your community in circle.so application are also your paid subscribers and uh, paid customers. Okay. So you have uh, tagged them as your premium members or paid customers in circle.so community. And as and when their subscription got expired or they have canceled their subscription from their side, you want to remove the tags from those customers only. So this is how you can uh, remove those tags automatically by using our automation. Let me show you. So here we have taken the example of Google Sheets where you have to add the data of the members that you have in circle.so community and as and when you mention here in front of the members name that his or her subscription is expired, uh, the tags from those members whose subscriptions got expired will be removed automatically from circle.so community. Otherwise, you don't have to manually sort out the details of the members, then you have to manually remove the text from circle.so circle community and that would be a big problem for you. But this automation is going to save a lot of your crucial time and manual efforts. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So guys, anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account. And to guys, so, uh, so if you want to reach this dashboard here of Pabli Connect, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. Okay. So the free Pabli Connect account will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay. So after setting up your account, you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this. And on this page, guys, you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here uh, you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So guys, I have given the name to this workflow as remove tags in bulk automatically from circle community members. Okay. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And on this page, guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these things. So uh, the trigger is the happening of an event which is going to trigger this workflow. So it is saying when this happens, trigger this workflow. And the action is the response towards that trigger. So it is saying do this. That means that means when a trigger event happens, action will make public and it perform any action. Okay. So as in our use case, the trigger would be uh, addition of a data in a spreadsheet and the action would be to remove the tags in bulk from the community circle community. Okay. So first of all, I am going to schedule this workflow to run once and once and for all this workflow is going to check the data that I have in my spreadsheet and it will check row by row whose subscription is getting expired from this Google sheet. And according to that uh, subscription status, the tags is going to, to be removed automatically from my circle community. Okay. For that, I am going to use scheduler by Pabli to make this workflow run once. Okay. So I have applied scheduler by Pabli and now it is asking how often you want to run this workflow. So I am, uh, so you can use these three options. You can make this workflow run at regular intervals and here you can put the intervals like if you want to put uh, days you can enter here 30 and here you can select the time span as days so at uh, at the interval of after every 30 days this workflow is going to run and check your spreadsheet and see who's uh, whose subscription is getting expired so here you just have to manually change the subscription status and this workflow will run automatically and do the rest of the things. Okay. So here you can select the time as well at which you want to make this workflow run. So you have to put the time in UTC format. So let's say I want to uh, UTC is universally converted time format, which lags behind Indian standard time by five hours and 30 minutes. Okay. So if you want to uh, make this workflow run 
after every 30 days at 9 a.m. in the morning. So you have to put here 3.30 in UTC, okay? Right? As I am working in India, uh, I am uh, I am ahead 5 hours in 30 minutes from this UTC, okay? That's why I have put here 3.30. Right? Now the, uh, the next step would be to connect your Google Sheet application to fetch the details of the members that you have entered here. And to make this happen, just connect your Google Sheets here in the section step. So from this choose app field, choose Google Sheets application. And the action event would be um, get rows option, this one. So it will retrieve the rows from the sheet based on specified range, okay? Select get rows, click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Sheets. And from this panel, you have to select the Google account by which you are accessing that sheet. Select that account, then provide the additional access. Just click on continue here and you will be connected with Google Sheets like this. Okay, so we are getting connected here. And you can see we are connected now. And now it is asking to select the spreadsheet from which you want to fetch the rows or the data. Okay, so we are using this uh, spreadsheet, you can see guys, uh, the name of the sheet is remove members. Okay, so you have to select this sheet spreadsheet from this field. So just click here and it will show you all the spreadsheets that you have created till now in your Google Sheets application. So from here, I'm going to select this remove members sheet. Okay. And here you can see the sheet name is got automatically selected because I have already one sheet here in the spreadsheet, sheet one. So it got selected here like this. If you have more than one sheet, you can select from the drop down. Okay. Now it is asking for the range of the data that you have in your spreadsheet. Okay. So guys, to put the range, you just have to reach to your spreadsheet and here you will find. So uh, here just click on this data from the second row and start selecting the data and keep selecting it till the last row. Okay. So when you uh, done selecting this data here, you can in the name box, you will find this kind of code A2 to D2. Just copy this code and paste it here in the range. Okay. So if you have static data, that means this data is not changing. If you have limited number of members in circle community and this data is not going to change, you can keep this range. So this is a static range. But if you want to add rows more and more, and if you are adding more members in circle and you are adding the data here, you can put a dynamic range for that. You just have to backspace here once and put it the range like this A2 to D. So we have not specified the end limit of the data. We have just specified that starting point is A2. That means column A row 2 and the last row uh, and the last column would be D, but rows can be more. Okay, so we have put the dynamic range here like this. Okay, now uh, you you can get the data of the spreadsheet by clicking on save and send test request. But before clicking on it, just toggle this simple response button to off like this. So why we are doing this to get the response from the Google Sheet in advanced format. So why we are doing that, I'll tell you later. Just click here on save and send test, test request and you will find the data from your spreadsheet here in this response result label like this. Here you can see we got the details from my spreadsheet in this format. So this is called the array of data format. So we got the array of data here in which I have all the details. Okay. So why we have uh, uh, fetched the information in this format because now I'm going to apply a feature by Pabli which is called iterator. So uh, in the next action step, search for iterator. This is iterator. Okay. And here in this choose array field, you have to choose this array. This one, this response this result array. So to select this response result array, you just have to come here and click on this field and you will find this Google Sheets option in the drop down. And from here only select this response result array. Okay, and then click on save and send test request. So for why we are applying this iterator? We are applying this because what iterator will do, iterator will segregate the data row by row and make this workflow run row by row. So when this workflow will run, it will, with the help of this iterator, it is going to check all the rows one by one and see 
whose subscription is getting expired and uh, whenever whenever the workflow found that someone's subscription is getting expired uh, it will remove the tag from circle community okay so when you click on save and send test request here it will show you the data of the first row got segregated here like this okay here you can see ryan glasgow uh, was our subscriber here it is so this is how it is going to run row by row now we want to finally uh, remove the tag of this person whose subscription is getting expired so i am going to apply a filter for this to make sure that we are going to remove the tag of that member only whose subscription is expired okay for that just click here on this plus icon and from this another actions tab search for filter here this is filter okay and here in the select label field you have to select this label let me show you in the previous step where you have segregated the, da segregated the data with the help of iterator you can see the subscription status label is showing expired so i'm going to select this label here in this step click on the select label option and you will find this previous two steps and from this iterator scroll down and you will see the subscription status okay make the filter type equals to and put the in, in the value put here expired okay so you have to manually put here the value as expired now click here on save and send test request and it will show you this response you can see uh, the status is success and the condition is true this means here uh, the condition is true because the uh, subscription status is expired so this workflow will continue only when this conditions match true that the subscription is status is expired okay and uh, after that what will happen we need to untag that person uh, whose subscription got ex expired in the circle community for that to happen you have to connect the circle community here in pably connect so click on this plus icon and from this another action step search for circle this is circle community and the action event would be untag untag a member okay here you can see untag a member options it so it will remove a member tag from a community member click on connect select add new connection and here it will ask for the api token and the host name so you can read the instructions written here to find this token and the host name okay let me show you the process this is my community's dashboard of circle and here i'm going to click on settings on this settings icon and under the settings page uh, uh, you have to scroll down here on this left hand side panel and at just the bottom you can see the api option just click on api and here you can create an api token for yourself so click on create an api token you can give a token name so i'm giving the token name as uh untag members okay and here you can see a new token got created here uh, with the name as a untag member so you, if you have previously created tokens you can use those tokens or you can use a newly created token like i am using okay so let me uh, use a previous token only <clears throat> so just copy the token any token from here the api token and paste it here in this field like this okay and in the host name you have to uh, mention the account url of your circle community so you when you open your uh, circle community's uh, dashboard okay you will find this url section here in the search bar and from here you have to copy your url up to this uh, circle.so okay so just copy this and paste it here you have to paste it in this format you have to remove this http thing and the slash thing okay just put it like this right then click on save and you will be connected with circle like this okay now it is asking for the email address of the person uh, whose tag you want to remove from circle community so i got the data of my members from circle community here in this step let me show you in this uh, uh, second step we fetch the data from our google sheet and here i have segregated the data with the help of iterator so i have this person in my community let me show you uh, i am clicking on members so let me open my members list from my community 
here you can see we have this ryan glasgow and this is the tag pably connect is the name of the tag attached to this person okay so i'm going to map the email id of this person here in this tab in the last tab so just click here and you will find the previous steps here in the drop down and from this iterator option just map the email address okay select the community id so i have only one community so it is showing only one and here you can select the tag that you want to remove so i have only okay so we have two tags right now paid user and the public connect tag and here i have given him public connect tab okay so, tag sorry so select the tag which you want to remove okay then click on save and send test request and you will see the tag getting removed from uh, the circle community okay so let me show you in the circle let me refresh the page <clears throat> and now you can see the tag got removed from ryan glasgow okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys so we are done setting up this automation so let me give you a quick recap what i have done here so first of all i scheduled this workflow to run uh, at every at after every 30 days at this time okay after that i connected google sheets application to fetch the details of the members that i have entered in google sheet okay after that i fetched the data in advanced format then i applied iterator by pably to segregate the data to make this workflow run row by row for each member then i applied a filter to remove the tags from only those persons whose subscription got expired okay so you can use this filter or you cannot uh, if you do not want to use this filter you can remove this step but if you remove this step the tags will be removed in bulk from all the members so if you want to do that you can remove this step also okay then i have finally applied circle in the action step to untag the member then i mapped the data here like this so when you map the data like this uh, when this workflow run in real time the data of the email id is going to change whenever this workflow run and the text is going to be removed automatically okay so you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually this is going to work automatically once in a while that, uh, according to the scheduler that I have, that you have applied and the tags is going to be removed automatically and guys the good part is you can use this same workflow that i've just created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application Please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.